हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू ईटी गवर्नमेंट चाय पे चर्चा आई एम अर्पित गुप्ता ईटी गवर्नमेंट चाय पे चर्चा इज एन इंटरेक्टिव प्रोग्राम विद ब्यूरोक्रेट्स एंड हाई अचीवर्स फ्रॉम डाइवर्स फील्ड्स द हाई इंपैक्ट लाइव वीकली शो हाइलाइट्स द प्रोफेशनल जर्नी ऑफ गेस्ट देयर अचीवमेंट्स एंड अप्स एंड डाउंस देयर करियर ईच वीक वी इंटरेक्ट विद अ न्यू गेस्ट डिस्कसिंग इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स टुडे आवर गेस्ट इज एन इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस ऑफिसर ऑफ 2000 बैच फ्रॉम उत्तर प्रदेश कैडर मिस्टर रंजन कुमार Divisional Commissioner Lucknow and Chairman Lucknow Smart City. Welcome, Mr. Kumar. In a career spanning over 21 years, Senior IS Officer Mr. Kumar has served in different capacities and handled several important assignments. Prior to his current posting, he was Secretary in the Public Works Department. He has also served as the Secretary Revenue Department, Rural Development Department. project director community project rural development divisional commissioner mirzapur special secretary irrigation flood control medical education food and civil supplies departments and chief development officer of gorakhpur he was also the district magistrate and collector of nine districts of up gorakhpur amroha shamli pratapgarh bagpat banda balia aurya and chitrakoot mr kumar is a btech in electrical engineering from the prestigious indian institute of technology kanpur and he hails from nalanda bihar apart from divisional commissioner lucknow he is also at the helm of lucknow smart city projects as chairman lscl welcome mr kumar once again and let's begin the conversation afternoon arpita sir sir how has been your early life at iit kanpur and when did your journey to become an is officer start who inspired you the most uh i still uh, when i heard this question uh we used to go into the early days uh i remember when uh, first time i entered into the campus the i saw the board iit kanpur the size the scale and beauty of the campus blew me away the academic infrastructure mesmerized me transformation from a simple school i was mostly i was studying in government schools i was uh, studying in kartik rao college gumla uh, that is uh, inter college in jharkhand from there when i entered this campus so transformation was a sudden from a campus of simple school entering into a campus with world class facilities less green uh, that wooden uh, and many more thing so uh, it was kind of sudden so uh, uh, it really took time to sinking a massive uh, library uh, study lounges beautiful lecture halls that were uh, formed routine of daily life which was once a kind of dream that uh, campus is uh, spread across thousand acres and it is uh, full of birds peacocks uh when i now compare with other uh, uh, global universities i feel campus is richer than uh, even kings college london campus where i went for doing masters recently uh, in uh, global security but most revered and uh, what makes iit kanpur unique is academic which is believed to be most rigorous among all iits and even among all global institutes if you talk about the life in iit kanpur the, the life sometimes make you smile sometimes make you cry and it make you leave what i feel that i live the best life in my iit kanpur from 8 am lectures in the chilly winters to night out outside health center even whole campus was a kind of place of night out you can see many students spread over whole campus talking to their friends 
all over the nights. We also had experience with bad or good experience with uh, savage professor to chill hai kind of bolne wale friends and you see all kind of things here at the time of examination uh, sometimes the campus looked like a dead space nobody was there everybody was studying uh, you can't meet any person in uh, lounges or in the road or in the campus the memories of singaroli trips when I, I was doing electrical machines uh, that the course that uh, that trip was memorable and also many other trips with friends and all kind all other kind of memories of celebration heart x heart seep and uh, fate uh, that all will remain me forever with me. So, uh, first time I was entering into the hostel life, I never been to any kind of hostel. I was always staying at home. So, this was the first time I was entering into hostel life. So, but the fate of us that we are a kind of animal which adopt the uh, new environment very soon so that became home so uh, and it happened like after four years i used to uh, forget the home real home it was real home now our being mates were not only friends but like families uh, how will one forget the birthday celebration, giving bump and sorting, dancing, cake cutting on the road? Uh, you are called by your name, Ranjan, first time, because it never been in a hostel in a manner we send you in a merry world. I still feel that it was like just study things. I really missed my friends and that hostel life. Still, I am missing. I have formed a WhatsApp group of IIT Kanpur 98, our big mates group. We share uh, the family pics of birthday and other celebrations. And uh, I think in a year, one or once or twice, we have Zoom meeting that includes friends uh, and their families also. So uh, I think this is kind of extended family now. So when I visited US during phase three training of IAS, I made the point in just a period of 15 days, I was able to visit, I think, uh, 12 of my friends. So most of the time I was in air, traveling from north to south, east to west, because they were spread all over US. So our closest 17 friends, I think most of them are now settled in US. And most of them are now U.S. citizen also. They are doing very good. So the Bibor who was very good making tea is uh, now doing a managerial job there. He's his boss now. So uh, sorry, Avtar. He was very methodical in uh, mechanical engineering. Uh, now he has patented many discoveries, inventions. So he is very good at that. He been professor now there in university. So it's it's a different uh, kind of diverse field they are working. And uh, uh, I remember the Asis Mittal when I visited his uh, place. So he served me a different kind of uh, uh, drinks. So I still remember the color and taste. And it was really great experience. So after so many years, we could meet because this is a kind of, uh, you see, uh, the fate that closer you are, farther you are, because all becomes so great. It's, it's very tough to be together because your space has become wider. So I still uh, really with those memories. Uh, if I describe campus life of IIT in general, uh, 
you will find the students going for a jog at 4 a.m. and uh, but others at the same time would be dreaming. Uh, uh, IITK life is free with uh, uh, minimal restrictions and interferences. We used to visit uh, girls hostels or girls visiting us without any restrictions. While campus, while like place of celebrations and night out, uh, there is a story that uh, we four uh, that include two uh, friends, girlfriends, not like girlfriend, but uh, we were friends. They were juniors, so we used to do night out uh, outside the health center. But uh, the way we uh, used to plan our thing, that we used to study in the night and we uh, do makeup of lost times, but those two girls could not. So they did very bad in the exam. And after that, our friendship uh, broken and uh, never uh, revived. So they were very angry about uh, we were wasting their time. So this all kind of things. A lot of pressure, study pressure, because of all of the rigorous uh, grading system and uh, the professors are so good. They they have experience of two, three PhDs and uh, they have wide uh, travel people and uh, uh, the 45 minutes lecture that includes content from as many as 10, 15 books. I still remember initial days we uh, decided to uh, bunk few classes and uh, go to the institute, go to the library to revise and also it was very bad decision. So uh, when we uh, 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 scroll through this uh, content, it was like including many like 10, 20 books. It's not possible to uh, study in library. So we decided then to go to the uh, classes regularly. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 yeah, open air theater was favorite place for birthday celebrations or uh, weird uh, art play. I cannot forget the campus restaurant 24 into 7, where I was regular customer at 4 a.m. Uh, you can uh, relieve your taste buds when you are bored of mess food and uh, interestingly in the mess I used to start the food and used to leave the mess after two three hours I enjoy the company people used to come and talk and go so it was really a celebration place also uh, 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 also the uh, 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 the campus is most of the time is live, even in darkest hours. So it never sleeps. Uh, memory everlastingly, if uh, uh, the scorching heat waves of over 45 degrees, the chilly winter nights with dense fogs, uh, cycling all around, the uh, rains that will make you miss your classes and Legend weather, which make uh, peacock dances. Uh, the infrastructure is, as I said, is world class with high tech facilities. The uh, the fest, uh, uh, see the crowd from all over the country. The campus is away from the busy life of Kanpur city. It is a different city itself. Uh, the hostel life, as I said, was the best place uh, for the whole stay. How, how can I forget the prank by my wingmates uh, when I had almost a heart attack? Uh, I believed the ghost visiting my room. They planned in such a way that it looked like real. I sorted them when I found that this was a prank. Oh my God, what was the moment? Still uh, feel the chilling effect. So, uh, how many uh, trees with friends is uh, uncountable with uh, Neeraj Dimri and uh, uh, my uh, Gagan Singhal and a uh, few more friends. Uh, we had serious live talks for
for one night. Sometimes you used to question me, if I leave you today, what you will do? So that weird kind of questions used to come across. Many moments of uh, crying, laughing, and nervousness. So uh, uh, there is memory of uh, the examination at 12 in the night. So it was a kind of all kind of things were happening there. Uh, so uh, there uh, we were natural and best at our hostel, toughest academic curricula among all IITs, grading policy is different, professors seems to be from different world, no emotions, no partial marking, very strict. No compulsory attendance except some uh, professors making points that uh, no, no, you have to attend. So they include some betis for the attendance also. There are many clubs and societies there uh, on different themes. You have options to join any. There are many organizers run by professors, but most of the activities are run by the student itself. So uh, it is a kind of a variety of things that is happening and also extracurricular activities if you indulge in so that uh, uh, enable you to face the challenging environment of the real world and uh, IITK uh, used to provide that platform for us uh, it has uh, enough opportunities that you uh, uh, nothing more to ask for. So I have passed out from IIT, but still I feel like I should revisit that campus many times. So when did uh, preparation for civil service uh, services start, and uh, who inspired you for this? So it is. It has more to do with uh, my background. Like I hail from uh, Bihar, Nalanda district. My father used to be a PCS officer. So there, at that time, it was very uh, complicated uh, situations there. We were facing situation of uh, uh, some uh, uh, like Gundijam and uh, other uh, anti-social elements. We faced many a times, and also I was very curious about knowing the problem faced by the people, what are the challenges, and how to address them. So knowing first-hand things, these things was a kind of dream. So I used to visit many uh, workplaces with my father. So that gave a little bit like uh, bird eye view of uh, how the system used to be there. But uh, still, there was a mystery kind of thing, like what are these uh, VIPs moving around, uh, how they sit in the office, what kind of thing they do and all. So that kind of thing was there. So I had in mind a kind of dream to become a civil servant uh, at the top class too. So I used to, uh, in the uh, hands of affair of uh, monitoring schemes, implementing schemes. So that dream started uh, materializing when I was getting uh, higher study like in IIT Kanto. So from the first year, I was uh, like a student of who is aspiring for IAS. So generally, the people uh, passing out from IIT had four major options. One is that you go to the US or hire for go for higher studies, or you directly take a job in US and other countries. You go for a CAT exam and join IM. And the fourth is uh, joining UPSC. So I chose for UPSC. And also uh, uh, from Bihar background, generally uh, uh, it is kind of like uh, you feel like uh, you have many seniors uh, joining uh, the UPSC. So you have uh, interaction with them somewhere. In IT also, we used to interact with them. So that, that all make a kind of environment for making final decision for preparing for the IAS. Right, sir. Having known your educational life at IIT and your 
uh, initial days of uh, civil uh, services preparation. I would like to know what are your priorities in your current posting as the divisional commissioner of Lucknow. Or Lucknow Smart City ke chairman ki aapke paas atrik zimmedari hai. So, aapki is current posting mein aapke kya kya challenges hai? Kyunki corona ke dauran bhi humne dekha ki kis tarah se Lucknow prashasan ne kafi achha kam kiya aur is tarah ko niyantran mein lane ke liye aap logon ne kafi bharsak prayas kiye. Uh, if you look at the smart city concept, this is all about making a smart all the existing infrastructure and services. So integrating different uh, services or uh, things uh, in one platform at, uh, at every level. So uh, there is a framework given to a smart city things. There is a chairman and chief executive officer from Nagar Nigam the urban body is 50 percent partner so uh, you uh, uh, after survey you draw the schemes on uh, basic uh, four themes like uh, jivant lucknow sugam lucknow swaksh lucknow and samrud lucknow that uh, encompass uh, uh, everything uh, to make uh, life easier and livable so we have all kind of uh, schemes, uh, uh, like 52 uh, schemes already prepared, and some uh, some of the scheme has been completed. Some are in, uh, in the completion process, some are in tendering process. So uh, overall, uh, the uh, basic aim is like uh, identifying the gaps, like. Uh, uh, the people feeling a stress like uh, on social infrastructure or physical infrastructure. So uh, reforming infrastructure, building new infrastructure, making it a smart, bringing, adding the intelligence, artificial intelligence, uh, the Internet of Things. So you can uh, see many such uh, applications in the city like uh, integrated traffic management system. It uh, make you feel more easy to travel in the city there are display boards there are environmental sensors many kind of sensors are there we have put in a smart beans and uh, we have uh, 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 the smart monitoring system we have integrated command and control center where we have integrated all the services the access to citizen is now easier so I am planning to include more than four thousands of services at one platform, like in one web portal and uh, through a, a mobile application. So as to uh, you have one window to visit all the services of the government. So already we have uh, integrated many services. You can visit the portal and you can uh, apply. You can. Uh, uh, deposit uh, bills and all and uh, uh, in the future uh, we have very uh, progressive thinking about uh, how to improve the climate like we are making buildings the existing uh, the government buildings the private buildings another thing uh, how to make it energy efficient and uh, the future building uh, like future generation building like uh, we are trying to uh, cover all uh, 650 square kilometers that uh, every building included in this area to have uh, rainwater harvesting and uh, rooftop uh, solar solar uh, panels and also uh, we are trying to uh, uh, make uh, the eg uh, living by uh, 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 integrating free Wi-Fi hotspots and also uh, uh, we have uh, uh, now uh, float uh, this uh, one new scheme like uh, how to use wastewater uh, in uh, landscaping and, and uh, uh, railway station water uh, this uh, bus stand and all to save uh, groundwater uh, depletion so we have many plans of even employment generation like we have very interesting and uh, new concept of employment generation two stage uh, employment generation so we are planning to bring uh, one scheme where 
first uh, there will be a uh, self awareness kind of training uh, that includes yoga uh, that uh, hot yoga like uh, which ayanger wrote in the book uh, he prescribed uh, many kind of training programs of one week two week different schedules so when you are uh, self aware about who you are and uh, your emotional intelligence is strengthened and other things so then you can decide what kind of training you require so the second stage we will provide with thousands of options so you can choose that from so again you choose then again the sub sections and other thing so it will be very micro kind of like uh, that will match with your passion and that will be a kind of key to unlock your potential so uh, we are planning first uh, to do uh, one agreement with uh, one training issue so i to provide like uh, very high quality 15000 employment every year of migrant level because in coming years the numbers uh, will increase these migrant levels and uh, people the mailaise people living in very distress uh, situation so uh, there are many more uh, uh, planning so overall a smart city will enable other scheme to uh uh we uh, implemented in uh, for uh, plant way correct sir sir let me uh, ask some questions about your previous assignments your previous postings you have served in bundelkhand as well as purvanchal both the uh, uh flagship regions for the uh, current government what are those experiences that will remain at the back of uh, your mind forever during your field posting like divisional commissioner of mirzapur you have served as dm and collector of nine districts gorakhpur amroha shamli prataapgarh bagpat banda balia auraiya and chitpur if uh, i will describe uh, my uh, that uh, working uh, in different position right starting from sdmc to uh, cdoc to dmc for then different position in uh, secretariat i was very active used to be very active and uh, at the younger age uh, i used to visit the field very often so i remember uh, uh, when i was in uh, uh, ayodhya now it's ayodhya i was joined mr fajawad so there there was sila dan uh, one one event was happening there so uh, it was very tense moment there So I was just joined master, so I asked the DM if I can be associated with that uh, line orders, uh, this monitoring and uh, that thing. So he said yes, you can. So I uh, visited that Kothwali, Ayodhya Kothwali, and uh, then uh, I was uh, deeply involved in that situation. So that experience was at uh, 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 like uh, tremendous. Uh, Uh, i was involved in planning uh, different zone uh, planning for yellow zone green zone red zone and uh, uh, the coordinating with different agency there, there were so many paramilitary forces different kind of paramilitary forces and uh, the learning curve was very steep so uh, first time uh, the experience i experienced that uh, the local kotwali is responsible to coordinate with different paramilitary forces coming in their area and uh, uh, what are the roles and responsibility of the magistrates how to tackle international media is coming there how to stop crowds uh, how to uh, face uncertain events like on the highway we uh, had emergency to stop immediately but it was not happening so our adm told me that you just sleep on the road so it will stop immediately and that happened that was that these kind of many uh, uh, tools i learned uh, during that uh, in intense uh, uh, line order uh, working uh, so uh, when i uh, went back to masuri so i submitted this uh, story of uh, ayodhya experience and i, I got best line order award among uh, all the professor Uh, so it was a prestigious uh, award so uh, the experience uh, immediately um, uh, made me line order expert 
our dm was good my dm was vp misra was uh, very good at uh, understanding crpc and uh, understanding the work ethos of different security agency and also i definitely learned a lot from him and then uh, uh, during uh, kanpur uh, sdmc uh, i uh, measured most of the land the gaon sawa land uh, in the city it was a different experience measuring land in city is something different so our commissioner uh, hold one mahapanchayat where uh, we measured all chak roads and everything many farm houses uh, i found that uh, chak road was included inside the farm houses so i used to uh, realign those thing in dugao sawa and other things so it was uh, experience and then uh, 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 during hatampur sdmc uh, uh, the enforcement of uh, the against uh, sand mafias it was great experience i put uh, amin sand lekpal into uh, that work and i used to stop 100 200 trucks per day and uh, i recovered almost crores in a month hello yes please carry on sir can you see me yes 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 i can see you sir okay 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 yes yes so so then uh, i remember during uh, hello yes please carry on sir hello yes please carry on sir i can see you sir okay okay you are not <laughs> okay so uh, 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 there are many such memories during SDM shift. So uh, the role of SDM is morely, uh, more or less, is uh, uh, regarding regulation and enforcement, and uh, related to revenue works. So during when I was SDM call in Aligarh, so I enforced the attendance of Lekpal in every village. So first time I started. Uh, using this random uh, numbers uh, the utility of random numbers so i asked all the lekpal to sit in the village under the tree which is provided in the guidelines and i used to visit few of them on the basis of some random random numbers i used to uh, devise and then it was a very effective uh, tool that i utilized later on also many times so it was a great uh, experience so uh, uh, the paka igara ka the sort of title and all it went into mission mode and also i remember during hatampur uh, time when i was dm uh, the giving patta to more than uh, 100 uh, acre uh, of chakwandi villages it was uh, done in one day i i uh, Uh, brought uh, everyone at one platform all the pradhan and uh, uh, lekpal and uh, they signed the document and it was done in one day so these all gave lot of confidence in uh, visualizing uh, implementation uh, in a mission mode and when i was cdo gorakhpur so there i was so active in the field that i uh, used to understand all the schemes implementation where uh the people used to uh, uh forget the guidelines and also uh, that was uh, where uh, i used to um, verify even uh, the proposal given by the mlas uh, if that is feasible or not that was unheard of so um, uh, many of the projects were totally unviable so it was a tense moment uh, i had lot of uh, 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 fight with uh, local representative and other but i was firm and uh, uh, that was great learning during cdo ship also i used to uh, uh, visit uh, the villages in the night 
and I had many open meetings uh, with uh, people. Uh, so that uh, uh, made my foundation of uh, administration very strong. So I started DMC in Chitrapur. So uh, there uh, I was very strict and uh, used to travel with uh, two cars. And I used to lodge FIR immediately if I find some official or uh, anyone uh, airing on their uh, duties and all. And uh, I used to be very tough. So that was also experience. Uh, my tenure, initial tenure during initial DMC was very uh, like uh, it ranges from three months, four months, five months. So uh, uh, with uh, different uh, district, uh, I started learning uh, to uh, uh, draw balance between uh, enforcement and uh, working as a government representative. And uh, uh, during uh, DMC for Banda, I remember uh, I implemented Manrega scheme. I made a lot of uh, uh, new uh, guidelines and new initiative I took in uh, that guidelines and uh, uh, I remember in Narayani uh, I developed one software uh, where uh, every work site uh, we used to know uh, in the evening that how many laborers work there and I made sure that uh, everyone get their uh, uh, their uh, 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 this uh, all the uh, wages uh, on seventh day and uh, also uh, first time I made a presentation before Joint Secretary Government of India where I proposed that these uh, documents can create recreate the pictures in the field if you maintain them uh, very methodically it was great experience. Uh, I just missed uh, the national award uh, at that time. So I was praised by uh, Joint Secretary. He, and I was the first to apply for that award because uh, he suggested that uh, there should be some award in Narega. And also uh, uh, during uh, DMC for Gorakhpur, uh, I remember uh, Many initiatives I took uh, uh, in education field uh, uh, during Hudhud, uh, during earthquake. I uh, made sure that uh, everyone coming from Nepal get uh, all kind of facilities. So I established one Rahat camp that was uh, of international level. Uh, there was all kind of facilities there like uh, I established uh, uh, the ATM, the railway display board, uh, the all kind of uh, cleanliness and everything. Uh, so we were uh, there, camping there 24 hours. The people used to come in distressed condition. I think people from 17 countries and as many as states, 17 states, they visited there. So we used to serve food on dining table and bisleri, uh, uh, the water and uh, good quality food, very, very high level of uh, uh, management and monitoring and cleanliness was too good. So uh, definitely I wrote a book on that earthquake diary also. It was great experience there. During uh, Mirjapur commissionary, as commissioner Mirjapur, I conducted uh, uh, two, three workshops in BHU campus. Uh, I addressed as many as I think more than 4,000 uh, science and math teachers, where I taught them how to teach science and maths. Uh, basic uh, thing was that how to develop curiosity among the students. So you should become a good teacher. So if uh, the impact was tremendous, uh, the teacher, we, they, when they went back to the school, their, the way they teach and everything changed. It was a uh, very uh, good experience there. And uh, in uh, current uh, position uh, 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 during Corona, 
uh, uh, I think uh, I joined uh, uh, Lucknow as commissioner when uh, during September when uh, the cases were very high. Immediately, because I had experience of COVID management when I was nodal officer of uh, Firozabad twice, Mau, Balia. So immediately I uh, came into action and I implemented, uh, I think, uh, more than 30 scientific intervention during first uh, COVID wave. And uh, it uh, uh, basically it re uh, revolved around uh, like uh, identifying uh, people with COVID cases and uh, how to uh, implement home isolation, how to ensure home care and uh, how to strike communication with them 24 hours, uh, uh, establishing a health, a health desk at every PSC, CSC level and every medical issues and so many other things like implementing uh, the sanitization protocol of uh, more than 26 pages, how to make sure the oxygen supply. In first During first wave, it was not very big task of oxygen thing. And also there was a regular meeting of uh, uh this covid management uh, every evening in the uh, a smart city campus where we used to meet uh, head of the medical uh, colleges and other people so we found uh, uh, in medical protocol also he, uh, there was a lot of uh, 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 fault there so uh, we set uh, medical protocol also correct and also we uh, uh, brought uh, the live uh, feeding of uh, ICUs in a smart city so as to uh, make sure that senior officer visit uh, the COVID wards. And uh, because of our uh, Honorable Chief Minister uh, guidance, uh, uh, we could uh, make a great uh, 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 difference in first wave during first wave during second wave also a lot of work done by uh, uh, us uh, i was also involved in uh, most of the uh, uh, new intervention like uh, it was a great challenge uh, uh, to uh, provide oxygen facility to COVID uh, facility, non-COVID facilities, a, the patient in uh, home isolation. Also, the bed availability was a challenge. Our honorable chief minister, uh, he made sure that many new COVID facility came up in the city. Uh, and also, uh, it, it was a, a, a great uh, stress and we uh, developed one whatsapp group where senior officials were there all the medical issues uh, were there in that whatsapp group so we used to get sos like uh, in two hours oxygen will not be there any any cylinder so we used to prioritize we implemented many guidelines like uh, how to stop uh, individual uh, cylinders when to prioritize uh, which uh, health facility and all so uh, um, uh, I used to uh, spend sleepless night. I used to keep mobile in both hands. So any ring at even odd hours like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I used to respond. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, also, at one point of time, uh, uh, there was a moment when uh, KGMC, ERA, and PGI, and Medanta they used to get uh, uh, different oxygen supply from the Linde company. And so uh, there were huge crisis. So I remember I made contact with the Linde people directly and uh, whole night that mission went well. And uh, they uh, informed us that different kind of socket is needed there. And uh, this is a big tanker. There is only one option that uh, they can uh, send the big tankers uh, to 
uh, uh, supply this oxygen uh, uh, this uh, for the facilities so uh, in the night or itself we uh, developed that socket we had uh, video conferencing audio conferencing uh, across uh, country like mumbai delhi dubai also and we made sure that it happened in the night also night only and in next day we could uh, arrange 90 ton of oxygen it was a great moment of triumph uh, so it's all about uh, we had everything under control because of our the guidance from our honorable chief minister and everyone was in on the same platform every unit uh, the coordination was uh, seamless and uh, the integrated command and control center was working 24 into 7 all uh, the uh, new technology we were uh, making use of like web portal of covid they provide uh, on time uh, cases of covid uh, and uh, we had uh, call to each and every patient in home isolation so we were met, uh, we were sure of who is still covid positive and we used to arrange uh, the medicine in the home we used to supply there is a lot of work done during both uh, covid wave we were very successful in uh, containing uh, uh, this uh, covid it was a real uh, challenging phase of uh, life for all of us, not only the administration, but also the common people. Sir, if I have to ask, what has been your most challenging assignment in the last 21 years of your service in governance, public policies and decision making? What was that? Definitely the, uh, the first challenging task was about uh, when I was uh, DM Banda. The, at that time, the scheme of Mandega. Uh, the job card uh, had no ID number. There was totally like uh, mismanagement. Uh, so that was a great challenge. So uh, it was a great success story. Uh, and uh, there was a moment when more than 3,000 ponds were dug and uh, it was uh, uh, streamlined like anything. Every document uh, was... Uh, reinvented uh, it was a, a first challenge uh, and uh, that was a success story the second challenge was during when i was dm gorakpur when earthquake uh, the major earthquake happened uh, in nepal so uh, their uh, immediate action and coordination meeting in the field and uh, uh, in one day we could establish that camp and the same night, uh, some 44 girls from medical college in Nepal, see, they visited that camp. So it was a great success story there. So these two challenges, I remember the, by the uh, biggest challenge uh, I could uh, uh, address in my career times. Sir, a lot of uh, awards and achievements must uh, uh, have come across in your 21 years of service. Any close to heart achievement that you would like to share with us? Like uh, currently, uh, I got praise from uh, uh, CM about uh, developing this Abhyude Yojana, Mukhanti Abhyude Yojana portal, where uh, some more than three crore students visited that portal, and uh, more than 21 lakhs people have registered themselves. This is a portal for free coaching in all the competitive examination, all kind of only like JE, NEET. So this portal was developed by me. It was concept uh, envisioned by me. So very satisfactory uh, thing happening. I used to conduct uh, a test uh, where more than seven, eight lakh people appeared. It was uh, successfully done and we used to run physical classes. And also, every class is uh, de uh, delivered online on the YouTube. And there is a database, archives, and different mode uh, we are providing, like interview, webinar, and other thing. It was a 
great satisfactory success story right sir sir now you have spent more than two decades in the civil services so how do you find young colleagues coming into the public service and what are your suggestions to the upsc aspirants those who want to join civil services uh, see the young people coming to the uh, civil services this has many advantages like uh, uh in the earlier phase of the career you are required to visit field more often and dynamism always help you have the creative mind you are bold you are courageous and uh, you put things straight uh, to your seniors and uh, uh, the different issues and context which you face is different and when you are young you can be molded to the circumstances you can learn fast so this is very good i have i am finding that uh, young people who are coming nowadays are very high tech so uh, they have experience working in the multinational company they have implemented uh, the technology in their working so that all helps in the field because see uh the efficiency uh, the uh, uh, is required at very highest level now uh, for implementing a schemes we have more than 498 a schemes government schemes so you need to streamline you have to develop monitoring system so you have to bring uh, technology inside this and government uh, effort i have seen in recent uh, times that uh, they are uh, stressing upon technology led uh, Uh, this uh, implementation so the young people are very good at that and uh, only thing require that uh, guidance from senior like us and uh, utilizing their uh, potential that is uh, still the challenge and uh, i would say that people who are uh, preparing for the civil services that uh, they should understand that uh, uh, this is one of the job so uh, they should understand that all other jobs are equally good see the whole purpose of joining civil services is to help people uh, help people who are uh, at the last uh, this uh, stage uh, last step and uh, who is marginalized so in other capacity in other job also you can do the same so uh, the if you want to join civil services you you should have a passion like this uh, you, you here you are spend most of your time with the people uh, like we are spend many nights when in line order situation in the village you have sleepless night you must have a kind of attitude uh, of uh, loving meeting people and uh, you should uh, a kind of uh, uh, stamina or uh, uh, kind of deal to deal with the problems of the people so you should be innovative you should see how to make sure that you are accessible you are empathetic towards people and it's all about different kind of work here so if you are you like this kind of thing then you should aspire for this civil services and uh, uh, preparing for civil services this is the start of a journey uh, which is filled with uh, tough time uh, the hardship and many things uh, that include uh, thorough understanding of the syllabus if you see the syllabus of all the gs paper that include topics and element of uh, history geography environmental science current affair so as to bring the things inside you uh, so as you to prepare for becoming a bureaucrat see you should have first hand uh, information of uh, the things uh, the uh, happening all around and uh, uh, how this country was governed by different kings or different uh, people in uh, in uh, earlier times you should understand the system how the revenue structure was erected and uh, how uh, different religious and caste and other society uh, the factors how was taken into account in governance system so 
if you understand you try to understand you should understand the constitutional setup you should understand economy and finance banking so as to uh, become uh, a kind of enabler when you become bureaucrat so if you just read like uh, preparing for other exam it will not help you have to be very passionate like uh, during interview also they will see uh, if you are more uh, community driven if you are fit for uh, <laughs> these kind of jobs so uh, best of luck uh, if you uh, if you find yourself passionate enough to help people then prepare but devote time uh, it is like a uh, uh, tapasya like uh, it's not like uh, uh, while uh, light hearted you can prepare for this you have to devote 100% Uh, for this and uh, understanding the fundamental is key and uh, 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 reforming yourself make more disciplined time management uh, uh, acquire respect if you if you have to uh, like uh, develop more respect for elders and uh, other people in the community definitely you will be successful thank you sir while we are at the end of the conversation we discussed your educational life your professional life some personal life questions sir uh, when you are not at work how do you like to spend your time what are your hobbies my hobby included many things early i like i used to play cricket badminton table tennis uh, i used to uh, visit many places but uh, later on i am finding that my passion now converging to reading more books which uh, give me more idea about how to bring reform in our system uh, how to help uh, implementing schemes like i am more to understand uh, uh, like economic system uh, the macroeconomics macroeconomics thing and uh the other development in all over the, uh, the the different in different countries other thing and also i have a passion to teach uh, students preparing for iit and upsc i have good understanding of different fundamentals so i have a big dream that uh, uh, make everything simple right now there is a kind of A, a, a kind of mystery that is very difficult to prepare for iit very difficult to prepare for upsc i find it's very simple if you understand physics chemistry math so i will say if you know 22 theories if you understand the 22 theories so you don't need more than 3 days to prepare all physics chemistry math you don't require very very hard uh, work once you understand the fundamentals so i am trying to bring into something concrete uh, developing these tools even uh, like uh, understanding different humanities there is a fundamental uh, behind everything so i am trying so most of the time now i spend in reading and uh, studying these things one more question sir uh, how do you keep yourself calm because when you are in civil services you as a bureaucrat you have your administrative bosses you have your political bosses there are so much of pressure from both side of uh, this service so how do you keep yourself composed and calm it is very interesting question uh, uh the uh, uh solution is very simple if you uh Uh, abide by the constitution abide by the guidelines you do whatever uh, legally permitted and if you have ability to explain the things to your seniors to uh, leaders concern i think uh, there is little chance of uh, pressure or tense moments like uh, during law and order situation if you understand the things you are uh very hard working so you can communicate well so everyone is on the uh, same platform so it is kind of brotherhood the friendly situation everywhere so 
I uh, don't remember uh, many tense moments in my life in career because uh, it it uh, went through well because of these fundamentals. So, like I do whatever it is justifiable, and uh, it is very transparent. Like during court, uh, I used to pronounce my judgment uh, during uh, the hearing itself. So it's very transparent uh, working. If you are transparent, if you are equal to all, so nobody question you. So that save you from many <laughs> tense moments. So that is a uh, trick of uh, remaining calm in your life. Thank you, sir. And I think uh, other colleagues, uh, young colleagues should follow this uh, success mantra. It was really a great interaction with you. Mr. Ranjan Kumar, you have candidly answered all our questions. Our sincere thanks to you for accepting our invitation and making today's show wonderful. We wish you Thank all you. the best for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And for the viewers, please keep watching ET Government Chai Pe Charcha every Friday. ET Government Chai Pe Charcha is an interactive program with bureaucrats and high achievers from diverse fields. The High Impact Live Weekly Show highlights the professional journey of guests, their achievements and ups and downs in their career. Each week, we interact with a new guest discussing interesting topics. Thank you so much.